Good morning, you guys. Today is, what is today? Wednesday. And I'm starting the process of us moving, cause we're moving. We don't move for another couple of weeks, but I kinda, I wanna get stuff out of the way before, before that time comes. Like I don't wanna be the week of trying to get rid of furniture and oh yeah, my wig is on sideways. Sometimes I forget that I can actually wear my wig like that. Like I can lean it to the side and have me a little part looking situation. So I have someone coming to pick up my vanity. And y'all know what my vanity looks like. I show it to you all the time. That's what it looks like. It's the it's the Mickey desk from Ikea. So what I'm about to do is put all of my makeup in a bucket. <laughs> now I gotta be real with y'all, I'm a little troubled because we're moving into a studio and I don't know if I want to keep both couches. I feel like I should. Um, and if I do, I'm definitely going to wind up painting one. I'm kind of over the random, you know, eclectic feel of our apartment. <laughs> Not that I needed to have a hyperactive, super duper aesthetic or anything, but I kind of just want stuff to match and make sense. These are so beautiful. But anyway, I'm going to clean this out so that this lady will be able to come get it. Um, I'm actually really, really surprised at how quickly people were talking about coming to get this thing because I posted it and it probably took 10 minutes for me to get a whole bunch of replies, which I'm not mad at. Okay. <sighs> it's gonna be weird saying bye to this apartment. I like this apartment. I like the lighting a lot. That's one of my big things for where we live. I like that we have a balcony and I can just go outside and breathe if I want to. Um, and I like that there's more space for the animals, but you gotta do what you gotta do when the economy ain't doing right by you. Whenever you're moving furniture, especially if you don't wanna take the drawers out, girl, get you some scotch tape. You wanna use like, you want to use this kind or you want to use paper tape? I have paper tape. You want to use, um, what is it called? Painter's tape. Like I was saying, it's Ikea, so, you know, it's not going to be like solid as a rock, which has never been a problem for me, but I know a lot of people be complaining about Ikea furniture, but let's be for real. A lot of the furniture that gets sold today is very much flimsy, very much wobbly, very much <sighs> comes in a box and you got to put it together yourself because they ship it to you and that's it. And I like the flexibility of Ikea furniture. Like, I can take it apart by myself. I don't need help. You know, if I want help, I can get it. And the instructions are very easy to follow. Especially if you're not in a rush. You take your time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Anyway, so when the lady, I'm gonna put this by my door. So when the lady gets here, I'm gonna just be like, okay sis. <laughs> Here I come. I did it. <laughs> now there's just a matter of this. That's more space, but this. <sighs> I just woke up from a much needed nap, y'all. And yes, I'm sitting on the floor. 
because I went to sleep and my eyelashes lifted because I was sleeping hard to the mud. I gotta have something to move the lashes out of the way. So this one has a little gap in the middle. Y'all, I slept so good. I need to get some more glue. This one is hanging on real good though. Normally when I get glue, I like to buy one black one and one clear. And when I was doing makeup, I had a whole bunch of these, obviously. But I don't do makeup no more, so I'm just using up what was in my kit, right? We're all fixed up though. And it's about to be 6 o'clock. So you know what that means. Time to get ready for the Kingdom Hall. <laughs> um, I need to change my outfit. Oh, and I'm testing a product for a brand. I can't say what it is. But, oh my god. It's probably been like an hour since I put this on. You... If you pay attention, you know. I can't believe my lips are still tingling, period. Anyway, I need to fix my wig. Y'all, I've been wearing uh, wig caps. This wig looks so good when I brush it. So I'm going to take this headband now. Also, I finally figured out how to get this headband to do this. Because that's what it's supposed to do. But, look at this. <laughs> okay, so this ain't nothing new. But... Oh, child. What that girl on TikTok say? Them girls who be trying to use AAVE. They, ooh, Chile. Ooh, Chile. <laughs> so, my little flat twists are okay. Like, they're fine. Um, they've only been up for about a week. And they're only just now starting to get, like, a little itchy. But I've been wearing wig caps, okay? Because they're supposed to protect my hair. And really what they've been doing is irritating my head. So like I'll have them I'll have them up here, right? And they'll put too much pressure on the sides of my head. And if you put on a wig or a wig cap and your head starts hurting, that is your scalp warning you that it's going to uh break off the that your hair is gonna break off. And your hair can break off at the scalp, okay? So, listen to your scalp because I've ignored it before and I had that happen to me. And I was mistaken. Like, I thought it was just my endometriosis, uh, but it was actually my wig. My wig caps. Wig caps. That or just get some wig caps that are loose. Like, some of my other wigs, my curly wigs, y'all, straight up a bonnet. Shabuya, shabuya, <laughs> a bonnet, a bonnet. Straight up, a bonnet is what I would wear. And for this wig, I'm, um, because I used to just do, hold on. I used to just do nothing underneath my headband wigs. And I decided to wear a head, uh, a wig cap because sometimes the little hooks get caught in my real hair and obviously I don't want that you know that's that's nothing in comparison to actual pain from actually having something on my head that's actually a little too tight so oh yeah and I would put wig caps to hold the flat twist because the little ends of the flat to girl my earring is missing Damien took off my earring while I was trying to nap because I woke up and I was mumbling stuff. And he like propped me up. He propped me up on a pillow and stuff. But anyway. Anyway, y'all. So today I wore this. Oh, my name is dirty. Anyway, this is what I wore today. Because if y'all didn't know. I have an occupation now. That's right. The housewife got bored, period. Um, and it's just nice to have the extra income. Um, but anyway, this is what I wore today. 
but they are from Sheen. They are so cute and they go up and sort of have like this. Y'all can see. Can y'all see? They have like this heart or this little dip or whatever. And I'm about to put on a skirt with this. Yeah. I don't know why only one of my incisions be itching. But if you know a way to like relieve that or whatever, please let me know. And because I'm tired of it itching. I honestly think that <laughs> it healed on top of something. have a bodysuit underneath these pants and I think this skirt is also from Sheen yep just a regular pencil skirt this one's a little long and it got you know the little stitching and stuff up here I prefer when it's seamless because I just feel like it looks better is this double lines I wouldn't consider it yeah it's not double lined but it's also not see-through but I like when they're like when they take the fabric from the inside and then they roll it over the um, the elastic band. Obviously, they still have to stitch it on the outside. But I like when they roll it over or when they roll the fabric over and then it's double lined. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Right? Anyway, let me put the skirt on. Got the skirt on. Ooh, I have to use the bathroom. And I'm glad I did because... Like I said, I'm wearing a bodysuit, and it wouldn't have made no sense for me to be putting this skirt on when I gotta use the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to go uh, to the Kingdom Hall. Okay. I need to put on my sweater as well. I love wearing lip gloss, but lip gloss and wigs really do not get along. Lip gloss and long or straight hair, just no. All the way around, no, no, no. Okay, oh, I look good, y'all. Do I look? Do I look good, Mister? Whatever the name is on that thing. <laughs> Boop. Good okay, morning, vlog. I'm getting ready to. Go to the dealership finally. So we just gonna rush out home girl. Cause she like to she like to act up because she's human. You know something that um like now that I have human hair wigs, something that I don't understand is people saying things like um the hair tangles. Like, it's one thing for hair to tangle and to just be a matted mess. But when getting a human hair wig, you should expect it to act like human hair. I'm going my sunscreen. I have to admit, y'all, I don't be putting sunscreen all over my body unless I know I'm going to be outside with majority of my skin showing i don't know like i know you should wear sunscreen but if i'm keeping it real i truly only care about from here to here when it comes to that because i'm like my body is a whole body it is a complete body yeah that's a lot to keep up with okay so i'm going to Put this in my purse, get my shoes, and go. bad urge to get another car <laughs> but yeah so I definitely need a down payment before I even think about getting a car but y'all why am I thinking about getting a regular regular Kia like 
Look at this card. Just, just something regular. Why am I thinking about that? Knowing very well that I like to go to Home Goods and other places buying furniture that has to fit in my car. I didn't wind up getting a new car, but I did get some of their snacks and I was not shy about it, honey. Neither was this guy watching me. And I wound up realizing that they had music playing in the background. I think they turned it up because I was vlogging. So I just sat there and waited a while until they came back and told me what was wrong with my car and everything that I needed to get fixed. Y'all, I just left the dealership, so. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me get this gas and then I'm gonna talk to y'all, hold on. They do this thing now where they text the customer and or the, the maintenance guys will text you pictures and videos of what's going on with their car and let you know what services you need. Girl, she need a whole facelift. Okay, first of all, my windshield is cracked. <laughs> my windshield is cracked and it's been cracked since last year. Number one. Number two, I need a new battery. I need transmission work. I need brake fluid work. Probably some new brakes as well because my brakes are squeaky. That might be why my brakes are squeaky because I need brake fluid. Um, I need a cabin filter, engine filter. What else? I'm missing a lug nut on one of my wheels apparently. Which I thought that that they were in my trunk, but apparently that's not a lug nut. Which I'm gonna double check because to me that don't make sense. Like, why would I have a key for my wheels? And then what are those things that are on the key next to the keys if they're not? Um, and I'm pretty sure I need some other stuff too. Then they went ahead and put the stickers on here that basically lets people know, hey, you can't steal this car. And I'm, I told them, I said, that's nice that they put that computer piece into the car or whatever, um, but here's my problem. People can still unlock my freaking car with the system booster. So it really doesn't matter that they can't just drive away with it. You know what I mean? that's fine also I didn't even get notified about um, this thing but I guess it's because it's it's like oh when people bring their cars in we'll just put it we'll just put it in there you know let me see how much this gas is gas is three dollars so much fun so much fun <laughs> I'm gonna put my shades back on my shades are dirty they're dirty y'all but yeah that's what's going on anyway put some gas in this car I'm really annoyed I'm really really annoyed at all this stuff that needs to be done to this car but I'll tell you what I'll tell you one thing boo boo I'm not paying $1,200 to fix a car that I can trade in and get a new one that has no problems when I can start from scratch when I can start from scratch mm. Y'all, I just got my package from Pretty Little Thing. And look at this corset! <laughs> I just wish that it had a little flappy thingy right here that was black so my skin isn't visible. I mean, obviously, my girlies is sitting up tight and whatnot. But, and this can go above my belly button and I'm going to use it to go over, you know, just like flowy dresses and stuff like that. But I'm so glad that I finally got one. Here, let me turn the camera around. I finally got one. Eee! I'll show y'all the rest of the clothes later. I'm thinking this might be cute on top of a yellow dress that I got. And the dress is, it looks, it's orange. It was supposed to be yellow, but it's, it's giving yellow with a hint of orange in it. And I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm still gonna use it for what I need it for. <sighs> But for now, I'm about to take this off in a minute. I, I feel like this is more comfortable than wearing a bra. I don't know why, but this is this is nice. This is nice. I like this. Okay. Okay. Y'all, it is the middle of the. I think. Oh. Oh my God. I just. Okay. It's five o'clock. I just woke up. I just woke up and tell me why. My mom calls me and she says, oh, I locked myself outside in my house. So now I have to go pick up my car. <laughs> I gotta go pick up my car so I can go let her into her house. Can y'all believe that? I literally 
I went to the gym and then I made some pasta that this chef on TikTok made with some anchovies and butter and I had to add salt to it because Italian food is not seasoned and I think it's because it's, that's just they use fresh herbs uh, instead of seasonings so I had to add a little salt to it and then I passed out <laughs> It's so noisy, I can't even hear where my car is. Y'all, let me just text him and see. Because it's actually raining pretty freaking hard. After I got out of my Uber, I got in my car, which Damien had, and I went to my mom's house to help her get back inside. <laughs> And the next day, I actually moved my old nail desk into our bedroom. I decided to go ahead and organize all of that makeup that I had on the floor and in a bucket and just put it in the drawers. I have to be real with y'all. <laughs> I did not feel like doing this, especially with the dogs trying to be cute. I was like, look, y'all, I got to put this makeup away because I don't know whether or not I'm going to have this desk in our studio, but I did need somewhere to put all of my makeup. So I just went ahead and got it done for the time being. And in a couple of days, I don't know, we'll see. Good morning, y'all. Um, I'm just getting ready for my meeting today. Now connected to Christina Barrientos iPhone. Great. I'm just getting ready for my meeting today. I have my makeup on for the most part. I'm about to do some blush. And I'm going to see if I can mix the red blush with the pink one. The creams specifically. Um, just because I'm like... Part of me feels like they would be really, really cute together. I don't know. Damien just got up and he's feeding everybody. And by everybody, I mean the animals. But yeah, part of me feels like they would be cute together. And I just want to, I want to venture into pink blush anyway. So I'm going to mix it with this red. And I'm just going to use my finger because these are mine. Girl, not me doing a makeup tutorial on my vlog. <laughs> So I'm going to put it, because I like to be able to see my blush when I turn my head. So I'm going to put some of the red and then some of the pink. And I'm going to use my concealer brush to mix them. If you ever have trouble with um, blending products on top of your concealer, like blush or highlighter, especially when they're cream, girl... Hold on, there's a piece of use a brush. Use a brush because the brush is not going to take away product as it's blending. So you'll be able to, you know, get all the product that you want on your face without having to worry about picking up the concealer and foundation and everything else that's underneath. This is really, really pretty. Hear that? That's his Xbox. Oh my god. This is really, really pretty. My face is looking very, uh, like, <laughs> I usually put a little powder, like, right at the end of my cheeks. Ciao. Okay, let me do the other side and I'll show you all my makeup and outfit and everything when we're done. Good morning, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did my makeup. This is how my makeup looks. This is how it's looking. I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. And my hair is out. My hair is out. My curls are out. I'm trying not to spill his drink. Damien's inside of the donut shop to get me two pigs in a blanket with a packet of mustard because that's what I like. But he just um, let me try this sparkling something drink and it is really good. Um, we're on our way to the Kingdom Hall. This is what I'm wearing. Uh, yeah. Y'all like my hair? Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all seen the TikTok about the... There was a black woman and she was talking about how annoying it is that everything we do to our hair is considered damaging our hair. And how she just wants to style her hair and not care about that anymore. I colored my hair five times. I lightened my hair once and I colored my hair four times in the span of like 
three months, I think. And my hair technically is fried. But in my opinion, my definition, like the curls, how loose my curls are, have never looked better. Have never looked better. And let me tell you something. I will do it again. I will. I will fry the living daylights out of my hair. Or just start my... I think, too, me heat training my hair by going and getting it straightened. I think I got my hair done twice. Definitely helped with this loose, messy situation. My hair looks cute. And people can say whatever they want about, oh... You know, you should love your yourself as you are. If I could ask Jehovah himself to change something about me, it would be my hair texture. I would want it just like this. Just like this. I want it to be uh, um, dense. And, and as the ends grow out, I want the ends to get loose. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> It's three in the morning, Monday, May 1st. Anyway, y'all, I got these shoes from Pretty Little Thing, right? And at first glance, even on the website, these do not look like anything special, right? Mind you, I don't know how high this heel is, but it's definitely not as high as what I normally wear. And even if you look at the back of the shoe, it's not, it's not anything special. Anyway. I've had these shoes on since like 11.30 today. These are the most comfortable heels I have ever worn. There we go. Ever. Ever. Look at the bottoms. I've been wearing these all day. And for the life of me, I thought that these kind of heels would be so uncomfortable because of, you know, the little, I don't know if this is pla plastic, I guess, the little strap. I just thought that the, sh the clear straps would just be cutting into every part of me that they touched. These were amazing. I told Amy, I kept saying it all day because I was honestly in just shock and disbelief that my feet were not in pain i kid you not even walking to our apartment i thought for sure when i get out of this car my feet are gonna hurt by the time we get to our apartment and i told him really only like the ball of my foot started to feel a little uncomfortable but no pain like i don't have any stinging i don't feel like i got any needles in my foot huh let me I'm in absolute disbelief and i tell you what even if i wake up in the morning and i have some sort of pain <laughs> i'm okay with that at this point with these shoes because i could go all day i'm talking i went from these are not real hardwood floors, but like the paneled wood floors to concrete, to concrete, to inside the Kingdom Hall, back outside. I'm, I'm walking up and down stairs, mind you, driving for basically an hour. Then I was walking upstairs again, and then I was walking in grass in these heels. And it wasn't on even grass. I told Damien, I definitely need multiple pairs. Tomorrow's gonna be wash day and I'm gonna derma roll my edges over here. My hair is really soft, but I learned from the last time that I did my hair that I really should. <laughs> Actually, let me just put my bonnet on. That I positively should comb my hair out and wash it um i'm not yet at a point where i'm comfortable just like snatching my scalp into oblivion to have a puff i'm not there yet 
if I'm, if I'm being honest, I don't think I'm going to be there for some time. But today reminded me, you know, just how far I've come. And it is the beginning of May. I'm so excited. I'm going to be celebrating um, the accomplishment of having my hysterectomy. Um, and all of the wonderful things that, you know, Jehovah has provided for me in order to have even gotten there to begin with. So, I'm going to end the vlog right here. And I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, comment down below if you have any questions about me having a hysterectomy, like my symptoms or anything, um, about endometriosis menstrual pain and things like that because i'm going to be doing a one year post-op video and i hope to see you there